Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We can find the number of digits in the square root of a number before finding the square root. So here we state a rule which says that if a number is a perfect square and it has n digits then its square root will have n by 2 digits if n is even and n plus 1 by 2 digits if n is odd. Let us verify. We know that under root of 100 is 10. But 100 has n equal to 3 digits. Then according to our rule, it should have 3 plus 1 by 2 digits in its square root. Let us see. It comes out to be 2 and hence verified it has 2 digits in its square root. Let us verify the rule for 1024 it has 4 digits so n is equal to 4 which is a even number according to the rule number of digits that should be there in the square root should be n by 2 which gives us 4 by 2 which gives us 2 digits now let us find out the square root of 1024 Clearly, square root of 1024 is equal to 32 and it has 2 digits, hence the rule is verified. Consider this question on the slide. Find the number of digits in the square root of 27225 without calculating the square root. Clearly, for 27225, number of digits n is equal to 5, which is a odd number. Then according to our rule, number of digits in the square root will be n plus 1 by 2 according to the rule. number of digits in square root. So we have 5 plus 1 by 2 which is 6 by 2 and which is equal to 3. Hence we can say that under root of 27225 will have 3 digits. Let us read the question. Find the square root of 729 and second part is 1296. 
let us start with the first part and try to find the square root of 729 we put bar we know that 3 3 is a 9 so that will be greater so let us take 2 to the 4 we get remainder 3 now let us double the quotient we get 4 to the blank in the right and we bring down the next two numbers in the bar now let us guess the number if we take 7 we get 329 so the number is 7 we get 329 and remainder 0 so the answer is that square root of 729 is equal to 47 let us start with the second part we have 1296 let us start barring them this time 3 3 is a 9 will be the closest number this gives us 3 remainder and let us bring down 96 we have to double the quotient with a blank on the right so we get 6 and a blank we guess that 66 into 6 will give us 3 3 96 so we substitute and divide we get 3 96 and remainder 0 hence our answer is that under root of 1 2 9 6 is equal to 36 let us read the question find the least number that must be subtracted from 5607 so as to get a perfect square also find the square root of the perfect square let us first find the square root of 5607 using long division method we put the bar and then 7 7 is a 49 gives us remainder 7 we bring down 0 7 and double the quotient will give 14 and a blank on the right now we guess the number 4 and check that we get 576 so let us substitute 4 in the blank and divide we get the remainder 131 this shows that 74 whole square is less than 5607 by 131 this also means that if we subtract the remainder from the number we can get a perfect square so let us do so 5607 minus 131 will give us 5476 so on subtracting 131 from 5607 we can get a 
perfect square it is also required to find the square root of the perfect square so we can write under root of 5476 is equal to 74 